It might look like child's play, but these are exercises meant to get someone comfortable in their current space and ready to explore stories through theater. What you saw was the very first building block of that. And basically all I was doing was trying to get them connected to their voice and to their bodies. All of a sudden there's this, this family. Horn is a former theater actor and worked with the Center for Indigenous Theater in Ontario, performing and working as a movement coordinator and assistant director for the Center's summer program in 2016. Now he's bringing his expertise to the Indigenous residents of Richmond. Pre-contact um, Indigenous nations, we didn't have our language written down. So when we were teaching and learning things, we didn't do it by reading it from a book. We didn't do it by sitting in a classroom. Horn, who is also working on his PhD, studies how Indigenous traditions are rooted in performance. Our knowledge is encoded in our songs, in our dances, in our practices on the land, and in our ceremonies. Go. Renee Robinson brought her daughters to the first class to explore their roots and culture. We uh, are trying to kind of... Uh, decolonize ourselves, we're trying to indigenize, we're, um, my children are the grandchildren of residential school survivors. So we want to try and learn a little bit more about our culture, even if we're not really too sure about what it is. The program was designed to empower and heal indigenous people through exploration of personal stories. Robinson, a survivor of the 60s scoop, hopes the program will elevate Indigenous narratives beyond the trauma. I want to see more stories that are success stories, and I think that's what we're looking forward to getting out of this, is that we kind of reconnect with something that is so positive and that we have a kind of a reconciliation even in media, uh, of Go. how our stories are being told. Stories of challenge and triumph, one that Horn is eager to explore in a theater setting. The thing that I'm most proud about in being involved in it is, is uh, allowing them to uh, find their voice and allowing them to tell their stories. And there's not a lot of spaces that are completely Indigenous for Indigenous people to do that. So that's why I think that this program is important. The theater workshop started this week, and Horn is looking forward to seeing more students in future classes. Five, five, Steve Jung, CBC News, Richmond.